hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week one assignment of the course introduction to iot 4.0 so guys for the past five years we have been providing the solutions for various nptl courses in including this course so guys with that experience only we are giving the solutions i hope almost all solutions are correct so by the way we are also providing the exam preparation mcqs so with five years of nptl experience we are providing this guys so last time we have provided this with utmost accuracy so many people have passed their exams through our pdfs so in this pdf we'll get huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 mcqs so for one person it will be 300 rupees so you'll get 300 mcqs for 300 only so last time it's uh, the price is 500 rupees, but now we have decreased it to 300 only and For two to five persons it is as it is 500 rupees only guys So already many students have taken our pack and got benefited In the similar way you can also get benefited through our PDF MCQs guys. So this is the email ID you have to mail me for So I'll give you that give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section So now let's get back to the solutions. So first question. So the first one, what is transducer? <coughs> so for first question, the correct answer is option A, a device that converts energy from one form to another. So mark option a right so mark option a now let's move on to the second question so second one what does sensor accuracy refer to so for second question the correct answer is option c the correctness of the output compared to a standard value so mark option c guys now moving on to the third question third one what is an active sensor what is an active sensor so for third question the correct answer is option c once again it is a sensor that independently senses the input <coughs> so mark option c guys now moving on to the fourth question Fourth one. What does actuator primarily refer to in IIoT systems? <clears throat> so for fourth question, the answer is option C. A device that converts signals into physical action, into a mechanical or physical action. So mark option C once again. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the fifth question. Guys, if there are any changes that comes to my notice, then definitely I will update in the comment section. So once again, visit the video guys. But I hope almost all solutions are 100% correct. And if you feel there should be any changes to be made, please give your opinion in the comment section guys. So definitely watch the video till the end without skipping and definitely like the video and please share that with your friends and classmates in the WhatsApp student groups. So everyone will be able to watch our videos. So fifth question, Zigbee technology is popular for what? So for fifth question, the correct answer is option C, low cost, low power wireless mesh networks. So mark option C.
Now let's move on to the sixth question. Sixth one. Which of the following is true about six L O W P A N? So for sixth question, the correct answer is option B, guys. It enables IPv6 packets over low power wireless networks. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the seventh one. The seventh question. So near field communication (NFC) is typically used for. So for seventh question, the correct answer is option C, guys. Short range wireless interaction between electronic devices. So mark option C. So mark option C. Moving on to the eighth question. The eighth one. So before getting into this question, guys. So once again, I want to make you remember that we are preparing. Uh, we have already prepared the exam preparation MCQs for the IOT 4.0 course. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared this, guys. So you will get a huge number of 300 MCQs that will cover all the syllabus content. So for one person it is 300 rupees, guys, which is a reduced price compared to previous years 500 rupees. So for one person, they can access now for just 300 rupees only. And for two to five persons, it will be 500 rupees, guys. So if you want to get these PDFs, message me to this email ID. I will tell you the process how to purchase that. So this is the email ID, guys. BK179417 at the red gmail.com. So I will give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section and there is also another thing YouTube membership here you will get 100 plus MCQs only but uh, it is only for one person and 119 rupees it is available in video format so if you want this video format 100 plus MCQs you have to join our YouTube channel guys so this is one for one month and these PDFs you will get till the exam day guys so for this YouTube membership you have to join our membership pack so if you see our channel s kumar edu you have to type that in the search box so you have to, there is a cho join button right so click on this join button and next hello guys you have to click on this last option 119 per month pack and click on join and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all these members only videos so there are lot many subjects including the IOT 4.0 part 1 and part 2 along with this all the subjects you can get access for that same 119 rupees only guys. But my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 MCQs PDF pack because you are getting the access till the exam day and also you are getting more number of MCQs which covers many topics in the syllabus. Already many students have preferred this MCQs PDF pack only. So it's your choice guys. So if you want to purchase this MCQ spec, just message me to this email ID or if you want YouTube membership, no need to message me. You can directly go and join our channel guys. So that's it guys. Now let's get back to the syllabus video. So eighth question, <clears throat> which of the following actuators work on the principle of compression and decompression? So for eighth question, the correct answer is option A yeah, guys hydraulic actuators hydraulic actuators so mark option A now let's move on to the ninth question ninth one ISA 100.11 A is significant in IIOT because it is what so what it does so the answer is option B. It focuses on wireless network technology for industrial automation. So mark option 
B guys. Now let's move on to the tenth question. Tenth one. What is the primary function of IEEE eight hundred two point fifteen point four in IOT? So for tenth question, the correct answer is option C. Establishing low rate wireless personal area networks. So mark option C. Now moving on to the eleventh question. The eleventh one. Z Z wave technology is best suited for. So the answer is option B. Home automation. Home automation. So mark option B. Moving on to the twelfth question. Twelfth one. What is the maximum? maximum data rate possible in wireless hut so for 12th question the answer is option c 250 kbps 250 kbps option c moving on to the 13th one 13th question QoS level two in MQTT is also known as what? So it is also known as exactly once, exactly once. Option C. Mark option C as correct answer, guys. Next, moving on to the fourteenth question. Fourteenth one. COAP works on request response framework based on Dash architecture. So for fourteenth question, the answer is option A. UDP. UDP. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the final question of this assessment. That is fifteenth question. Infrared sensor is an example of what? So the probable solution for fifth question is option D, optical sensor. Optical sensor. Option D. So friends, these are the solutions for week one assignment of IOT four point zero course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and please share that with your friends, and make everyone aware of our channel so that everyone will get benefited. So consider this 300 MCQs PDF pack. So if you buy as one person, the price is 300 rupees, and if you buy along with your classmates, two to five persons, it will be 500 per group, right? So this is the email ID to mail me, guys. So already many students have started buying our packs, and for the past two years, many students have bought our pack and got benefited in the exam. So that's it, guys, for this video. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.